Hello students and welcome you all in my channel Learn Math Easily. In today's video we are going to do one of the most awaited topic of group theory that is normal subgroup. The moment I have started with group theory I used to get constant comments please start with normal subgroups. But before doing the previous concepts and previous results and previous definitions I was unable to do the normal subgroups and it is almost like end of this group theory. Although some topics are there, but this is one of the most important topics that comes at the end of the group theory. So, before I'll explain the, top, the concept of normal subgroup, I'll tell you the formal definition of normal subgroup. Let G be a group H be a subgroup of G then H is called a normal subgroup of G. A normal subgroup of G if A H is equal to H A for all A belongs to G. Suppose you have G is a group and H is a subgroup of G. Then your left coset of H and G with respect to A must always be equal to right coset of H with respect to A. Then such types of groups are called normal subgroups of G. And this should hold for all A belongs to G. If for any particular element A for which A H is not equal to H A, then this result doesn't hold true. Means H is not a normal subgroup of G. This should hold for each and every element A belongs to G. You know that A H here elements are of the type A H such that H belongs to H. And H A will consist of elements of the type H A such that H belongs to H. Here the normal word, I have used the word normal. This is the most widely term, most widely used term in case of normal subgroups. But it's, uh, uh, there are some other names of normal subgroups also. And these are invariant subgroup. invariant subgroup and second one is self conjugate subgroup invariant how can you remember this term because this is non variant if you multiply either uh, with any element of g with left side or right side it is invariant with respect to the side of multiplication either left side or right side therefore it is you can remember the term invariant and in the same way self conjugate also next definition next thing sorry next thing you can see that g is a subgroup of g g is a subgroup of g and for all A belongs to G, we have A G is equal to G. Because suppose you have G is equal to A1, A2, A3 and so on, A n and so on. So you will have A G is equal to A A1, A A2 and so on, A A n and so on. So you will have this AG is equal to G by closure property because each of these elements are elements of G. This will eventually come into G. Similarly, GA is equal to G. Therefore, you are getting AG is equal to GA is equal to G. And this is for all elements of A belongs to G. Therefore, what you are getting here, therefore G is a 
नॉर्मल सब ग्रुप ऑफ जी हियर वी आर टेकिंग एनी आर्बिटरी ग्रुप सो वॉट एवर ग्रुप वी विल टेक फाइनाइट इनफाइनाइट और अ ग्रुप विद एनी प्रॉपर्टी एनी ग्रुप इज ऑलवेज इट्स नॉर्मल सब ग्रुप In the similar way, we'll take another example. See, singleton set E. We know that this is a subgroup of G. Singleton set E is a subgroup of G because E belongs to G. And if you will consider A into singleton set E, which is equal to A E, which is equal to A, which is a singleton set A. And singleton set E into A is equal to E A, which is equal to A, which is equal to singleton set A. Therefore, you are getting this. A E, which is equal to A. So what you are getting, singleton set E. is a normal subgroup of g so if you will take any group with any properties g and singleton set e are fixed normal subgroups of g there may exist any other normal subgroup or may not exist any other normal subgroup so these are fixed normal subgroups that these will exist anyhow so these are referred as trivial normal subgroup if g is any group with any properties g and e singleton set e are normal subgroups of g normal subgroups of g and hence are referred as sorry and uh, are referred as trivial normal subgroup so these are called as trivial normal subgroups because anyhow these kind of subgroups exist for any group since normal subgroup is such an important topic so there must exist some standard notation for this normal subgroup and yes it do exist h is a normal subgroup of g so how we will write it we will just write it like with the help of twisted triangle this twisted triangle is a symbol that h is normal in g and from above result we are getting that g is always normal in g and singleton set e is always normal in g because these are trivial normal subgroups after this there there is coming again very important result a very important definition which be which is based on this trivial normal subgroup only and this is called simple group a group not having any normal any non trivial normal subgroup is called simple group trivial subgroups will always exist for all the groups but a group not having any non trivial normal subgroup is called a simple group i would like to tell you a note which is based on this result 
Suppose you have a group G of prime order. So let's start with the note. Let G is a group of prime order. That is order of G is equal to P. So its possible positive factors are 1 and P only because P is a prime number. So for any subgroup of G, it can be a subgroup of G if its order divides order of G by Lagrange's theorem. If H is a subgroup of G, then order of H divides order of G. So any group of prime order cannot have any other subgroup other than E and G. So these are the only subgroups of this type of group G. Therefore, if there doesn't exist any subgroup for this type of group, then obviously these are the only normal subgroups of the group G. I will write it again, a group of prime order, a group of prime order is a simple group because the only subgroups of group R E and the group itself. I have done a definition for normal subgroup that is G H is equal to H G for all G belongs to G. But there are some authors they are using some other definitions for normal subgroups also. And I will write all the three definitions that I have stated. One I have stated and two other definitions are also there. And these all the three definitions are equivalent to each other. I will just write and explain that how these definitions are equivalent. And I can use any one of these definitions to prove some results or theorems based on this topic. So let's, let us write that. Let G be a group. G be a group and H be a subgroup of G, then there exists its equivalent definitions. First is that I am that I have already stated. G H is equal to H G for all G belongs to G. Second, G H G inverse is equal to H for all G belongs to G. And third is G H G inverse belongs to H for all H belongs to H for all G belongs to G. You can see that all these definitions are equivalent. I'll explain since G H is equal to H G for all G belongs to G. So if we will post multiply these two by G inverse we will get G H G inverse is equal to H for all G belongs to G. You can see that these two are equivalent and if and only if condition if I will multiply this by G on uh, if I will post multiply G on both sides I will get this G H is equal to H G. Also you can see G H G inverse is equal to H. Now G H G inverse belongs to G H G inverse which is equal to H. Therefore G H G inverse belongs to H. So you can clearly see that all these three definitions are equivalent to each other. Now that was the end of a detailing about normal subgroup. There are few theorems and results which are based on this topic that I am going to do in my next video.
and after the completion of normal soft group i'll do another important topic that is question group if you like the video then don't forget to hit the like button and in future if you want to see such kind of higher mathematics videos then don't forget to subscribe for my channel thank you so much for watching this